Lloyd, well, he's lost none of his power. A bit of zip out of his legs, no doubt. 33 years of age now. Over to MC Mike Goodall. Live on Eurosport, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. National Promotions proudly present a light middleweight contest of 10 three-minute rounds between introducing in the blue corner, wearing the wet, red trunks with the white trim, coming from Derby with a professional record from his 10 contests of five wins and five losses, three wins coming by KO, the Midland area light middleweight champion, Steve Goodwin. So there's Steve Goodwin, then 27 years of age and the reigning Midlands area champion. And in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks from the It was uh, six years later that Goodwin was to turn professional. Been a pro now since April of last year. And this a very good opportunity for Goodwin to put himself up there with the big boys. And with me, one of uh, Goodwin's stablemates, Kevin Allison. Kevin, how do you think this one's going to go? Um, I think that Steve has a great chance of, 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 of upsetting Lloyd Hannigan there. Um, Lloyd Hannigan is a big player. The record shows he's gone to America and done it, but Steve's got strength and... Thanks for strength for bringing through tonight. Thank you, Kevin. So, Steve Goodwin then in the red trunks. And Lord Hunnigan, of course, remembered for that uh, war with Vinny Pazienza last time out, where he was stopped in 10 rounds. Once again, in Atlantic City. And uh, Steve Goodwin. Well, in two then. Hunnigan taken by surprise there. A very strong individual. Steve Goodwin, always well prepared. And of course, aging fighters don't lose their power, they do lose their legs, and they often lose their capacity to take a punch. And of course, that's what Goodwin will be trying to exploit here. And you've got to wonder how much that war with Pazienza has taken out of Lloyd Hunnigan. And Steve Goodwin, very firmly the man on the up here. Hunnigan on the wrong side of the hill, that's for sure, Wait, without trying to sound unkind. Himself is trying to be the boss and succeeding. And a poorly prepared Hunnigan will not beat a fully wound up Steve Goodwin at this stage in his career. opening round, scheduled for 10. Rather a laid-back start by Hunnigan. Don't hold, don't hold. You hold it. At the end of a good first round then for Steve Goodwin. 
touchdown by Hunnigan in that opener from half a punch and half a push. Of course, uh, I mentioned that Hunnigan hasn't lost his punching power. Do you remember that tremendous punch that caught Mickey Hughes and split his eye wide open? And uh, that picked up Hunnigan, the uh, Commonwealth Championship. defence of course of the uh, WBC World Away Championship was way back in February of 1989 beaten by Marlon Starling in nine rounds or should I say uh, Mark Breland in three Ten seconds for the WBA version and that was in March of 1990 having previously lost the WBC Second. title round two. So round two then is the scheduled ten round light middleweight contest the Midlands area champion Steve Gouin made a good start taking the opener against Lloyd Hunnigan Lloyd needs to look a bit lively here. He's been very upright, very straight backed. He doesn't look hard to hit. Obviously, he is. Oops, and Hannigan there, almost tumbling over. And if Lloyd Hannigan has taken Steve Goodwin lightly, it could be a big mistake. Of course, what has that drubbing at the hands of Pazienza done to Lloyd Hannigan? Looks like it's done plenty at the moment. And we get Hannigan 41 wins. Only four losses, 28 of those wins coming inside the limit. And he's held every title worth holding as a professional fighter. Feet. Well, that could be a sign of lack of fitness on Hunnigan's part. His reflexes look an absolute mile off. And Goodwin really fancying this shot now. Steve wants to be very, very careful of a big counter punch from Lloyd Hannigan. That, of course, at the moment is what he's relying on. It seems to rock every time it's caught squarely. only needs one opportunity for a left hook or a right hand as we've seen time and time again in the past but will Steve Goodwin present him with that chance that's the question Steve's doing everything right right now. He's, he's applying the pressure, stopping Lloyd from working, and he's, the shots that, hit with, that he's hitting Lloyd with are, seem to be having Lloyd in trouble. He's doing everything right right now, but he's still quite a way to go. I just hope Steve can just keep up what he's doing, and best of luck to him. Like I said, he could upset Lloyd tonight. Thank you. Well, Kevin Addison there thinking that uh, Goodwin could well upset Lloyd Hannigan tonight, and I must admit, on current showing, that could well be a possibility, but uh, Lloyd Hannigan darting in them with uh, a solid combination. Although Goodwin rode it well. Once again, the Mancini brothers Ten. there in the corner, attending to Lloyd Hannigan. Into round three, then. Lloyd Hannigan in the black. 
course, he'll be hoping for victory here for a very good reason. One, he doesn't want to lose, of course, but the other reason is that he's got this Conwell title and uh, he needs to make a valid defence. He's got a win here against Steve Goodwin. So a pretty tawdry start by Hunnigan. Got back into things in the second round. Didn't win it, in my opinion, anyway. And uh, we'll obviously need to up the pace from this point onwards. Steve Goodman's done ten hard rounds previously when he beat Mark Gawson for the area championship. That's the furthest he's been as a professional. Three gone now. And uh, Steve Goodwin, not characteristic of Brendan Ingle fighters. He does like to go forward and make the fight. And that could be his undoing here against Hunnigan. He might just be advised to stand off and pick his punches, try and make Lloyd's miss, and then counter. And there's a cracking right hand that caught Goodwin smack on the chin. And then the left hook to follow up that forced Goodwin to hang on. Mm. Uppercut to the body from Lloyd. This is where he started letting fly with both hands furiously. Mm. Of course, he knows the effect that those punches had. He felt them against the knuckle. Hannigan no. comes out with a smile on his face for round four. So Lloyd Hannigan looking much livelier. Steve 
good one. Very manly, sticking about his task here. Now, Billy to the nose quite heavily. Cascading down the top lip of Goodwin. Halligan once again trying to pop shot with the right. So after a pretty tawdry start, Lloyd Halligan looks like he's on his way to winning another round to level things up. to punch. If anything, they punch harder with age. And some very good defensive work there from Hunnigan. He's trying to wind up a left foot now to catch Goodwin on the way in. And Steve doesn't quite know where the next punch is coming from. And Lloyd Hunnigan relying on all of that experience. Punch, it was his head that broke your nose. And never having sustained a broken nose, I'm afraid I don't know, I don't know what it's like to take a punch on one. Ten seconds gone. So into round five then. Of the scheduled ten round like middleweight contest. Boyd Hunnigan has doubled things up on my card with four gone, two rounds apiece. moment Lloyd Hunnigan looking favourites here it's the power and of course Sophia is such a great motivator something left up again for Lloyd Hunnigan so Steve Lidden sticking close to him take time out to wash that and have it replaced or was it good 
Hunnigan's, I wonder. Or Hunnigan's, not quite sure. In fact, it was Lloyd Hunnigan's. fifth round but uh, he's been kicked off and hurt there's not a great deal in it but I think Hannigan's got his uh, nose in front now Hannigan tiring no doubt about that and so of course is Steve but as he takes again a little thumping left hook see Lloyd Hulligan in the South Pole stands, but that's another round for Lloyd. Way stage then. And Lloyd Hulligan possibly taking Steve Goodwin a bit too lightly in the beginning, but uh, he's found his feet now. Hulligan around in front then with five gone. Painted on Curry. Well, they look like they're a thing in the past. Ooh, lovely left hook, and that one caught Stephen when it hurt him. Didn't go over. What a game fighter Stephen Wynn is. And again, again, trying to measure him for a left hook. And Steve Gilbert now looking pretty weary, nice left hook. And Hannigan skips around this ring, not exactly like a teenager. And every time that Goodwin dips his head, the blood flows out of that nose. Good body shot there from Lloyd. I think Ruffin was, but yes, he stopped it. Well, Steve Goodwin, I don't think there's got too many reasons to complain there, as he gets stopped in six rounds by Lloyd Hannigan. And that nose is bleeding profusely for most of the way there. So, Lloyd Hannigan stays on track. Back after that uh, bad loss against Vinnie Pacienza to beat Stevie Goodwin, the Midlands area champion, in six rounds here at the Elephant and Castle. And a very game effort there by Steve Goodwin, broken nose and all. I'm not quite sure the significance of that. And maybe Hunnigan will be defending his Commonwealth Championship against uh, Kirkland Lang. The future, who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes 32 seconds of the sixth round, with Steve Goodwin being in no position to continue, the referee stops the contest. The winner, Lloyd Hannigan. Lloyd Hannigan, the name declared the winner, and uh, very gay but losing effort there from Steve Goodwin. Damage nose from the second round onwards, leading quite badly. Ladies and gentlemen, well. your appreciation, please, for a very, very good loser indeed, please. Steve Goodwin. And, uh, Steve Goodwin getting a 